listen to the echoes of black history. Listen to the echoes of black history. Whispering, shouting, petitioning, attention. To the subtleties or grand schemes. To become his story, her story, our story. We presently flourish in these contributions. That sometimes seems to go unknown, unsung, but the reverb is still heard through these echoes of black history. My People by Langston Hughes. The night is beautiful, so the faces of my people. The stars are beautiful, so the eyes of my people. Beautiful also is the sun, Beautiful also are the souls of my people. An original piece entitled, My People. My people, we need to start dreaming. Let's start dreaming because we're waking up and realizing our demise with the eyes that watches every time we go to the corner store to get our favorite brand of Cheetos. Oh no, there goes another one chasing after my son, trying to make it so he can't shine. And the ghost face is dropping a dime till he winds up further in poverty. Other people's property, no, it's not mine. Tell me, is this freedom or is it an allusion to the fusion of mankind starting in Eden to Babylon to Amistad to Montgomery all the way to Callaway? How much the world has changed today, but the chains still remain, and the melanin in the skin seems to add shadows to the soul, but not in mine. I don't walk that line, but I'm not blind. Yet I failed the criteria, and mass hysteria intoxicate my limbs, tie them bound, face down in chains, because my name can't spark the brain. I'm still searching for my fame. But in the next five minutes, I'm printed and booked, and from the looks of it, I'm about to become known. My people, that's how we've grown today. There has to be a better way to leave our mark because the world don't decipher in the dark. It just sends out blind shots till silhouettes stand still, then peel away the rubble in the early dawn. Now my whole family is gone, taken away by the world trying to do a sin, looked upon us as if we were sin. We can't win to begin, so we end speculation with expectations of stereotypical trends and then do ourselves in. Oh Lord, just stop the spins, the cycle turning our lives upside down, side out, defensive and aggressive, ghetto and proud, living in the word derogatory and wondering why we can't rise. Because the load multiplies with the eyes of your third born child, the ratio one to four smiles to frowns because you're still down and you can't rise because the load multiplies with the eyes of a violent child living a prescribed lifestyle, but it's not mine. My people, we need to start dreaming. And even though we may toss and turn, it shows us to be alive. But as we strive to be seen in a new light, we often paint our own predicaments. And preconceived indictments lie waiting to eclipse our glow. Oh no, the night is nigh, we become the pupil of the world's eye, the pigment that identifies. But who am I? I am the next king to bring the dream to illuminate. Twilight doesn't mean too late. It means through our darkness, let's radiate. So that the world looks up to the night and wish upon our celestial light to also be nocturnal. Not to be like us, but one with us. That in the morning, we wake up to the notion that we are all God's children, my people.
Hi, my name is Nicole Jones and I'm the visual art teacher here at Callaway High School. For my R1 class, we participated in, a, in an assignment where we showcased um, a featured artist, Kara Walker, who is a black American female artist. She creates silhouette cutouts of her artwork using paper on a large scale. She typically focuses on the history of slavery for her social issue. So this year, students were able to focus in on their own social issue that they felt were most important to them. Each student was able to pick the issue that they felt closest to. A lot of the students were able to pick social issues that dealt with racism, poverty, and economic backgrounds. If you ever have a moment, take a moment to look outside of the classroom and you'll see the artwork in the hallway. See if you can determine what the social issue is based on the silhouettes that are cut out. For this project, we focused on Carol Walker. She is a black African American female artist that focuses on images of slavery from the past. Kara cuts out the images from paper to create a scene. My project is about racial inequality. I picked the image of Barbecue Becky to show racial inequality. Barbecue Becky called the police on a black family that was in their right to barbecue in the park. So many moments like this are happening each day. My name is Dashaun Shepard and this Black History Month, I did an art piece talking about violence in music and how it's affecting the black communities and schools and whatnot. Um, I took inspiration from an artist we learned about named Carol Walker. She um, she does silhouette pieces to address issues and bad things going on in her community and the world. Yeah, that's about it. My name is Kiesha and in art, we are learning about Carol Walker and her art and her paintings. And she's painting about black people and I chose to do voting rights because back then a lot of women couldn't vote around the time until later on in the 1900s. Hi, my name is Lynn Casey. I'm the media specialist here at Callaway High School and I'm going to talk to you about one of our recommended readings for Black History Month. The book is March by John Lewis. John Lewis was a congressman from Georgia from 1987 through July 2020 when he passed away. Some of you may remember John Lewis when he visited LaGrange College a few years ago. The book is a graphic novel that talks about his life growing up in Troy, Alabama. In it, he recalls the Montgomery bus boycott, meeting Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and participating in and coordinating the sit-ins in Nashville, Tennessee which resulted in the desegregation of the lunch counters. John Lewis also wrote March Book Two and March Book Three, two other books in the trilogy that discuss the March on Selma and the March on Washington, where Martin Luther King gave his I Have a Dream speech. Reading all three books is a great way to learn about the civil rights movement. If you'd like to see more recommended readings from the Media Center, check your announcements in Canvas or come by and see us. As you may know, art comes in many forms, from drawing, sculpting, music, etc. I made a piece symbolizing black power and justice, symbolizing the movement of Black Lives Matter. So on my art, I got many names. I got many names across it. All these are victims of injustice to the police brutality, you know? Reference from The Bigger Picture by Little Baby. He said, it's bigger than black and white. There's a problem with the whole way of life. Many blacks have fell victim to the injustice of police brutality known across the world. In that, in that sentence, he just said, he really mean it's bigger than just the blacks and the white segregation and all that other stuff. He mean we need to all become together, equality, everything, justice, power, everything. 
Hi, my name is Haley Pike, and I'm doing a project on Black History Month, and I decided to do it on Ray Charles, who was a blind singer. He was a artist, a composer, a songwriter, and pianist. And he has basically inspired me and many other people to follow their dreams and be able to do something, even though you have obstacles in life, just like he did being blind due to glaucoma and childhood. I base my sculpture off African culture. The top portion of my sculpture is based off the goals of African life, the lifestyle, the design, and colors. Each dot on the head of the sculpture is in different colors to represent the goals of African life. Red represents power, black represents death, yellow represents happiness, and purple represents wealth. The gold headband at the bottom of each color is to separate the meaning of the two different scenes on my sculpture. The bottom half of my sculpture is painted half white and half black. The black side is to represent the death of African warriors, specifically the Zulu African tribe. Overall, I am proud that I can represent the black history with my artwork. Hi, my name is Nicole Jones, and I will be reading on behalf of Jemiah Edwards, who is a virtual student, 10th grader, that participated in a Black History art show competition for Troy University. My artwork was inspired by the people from history who were inspirational to me and so many others. I decided to put four of the most iconic and influential Black African Americans throughout history. Jackie Robinson, James Brown, Chadwick Boseman, Martin Luther King, and lastly, Black Panther. Even though he is a fictional character, he also tells the message that freedom is obtained by recreating systems of oppression, does not liberate us, but rather further enslaves us. This is why I titled the artwork Legacy. To show humanity is working together to break the cycle that is the path to true freedom.